Well, I made it here to Patem Tat Tao, uh, the uh, Buddhist um, temple within the side of a mountain. And I uh, understand the caves go pretty deep. Uh, the rain has subsided this morning, uh, but I'm still going to take my raincoat inside. And uh, I read this a little late, but it said, bring a flashlight <clears throat> on, you know, Google. So I, uh, I grabbed... Uh, well, this phone, but also a couple of chargers, uh, phone chargers that have flashlights built into them. And so I will, um, I will hope that it gives me a view of the bats inside. <laughs> but yeah, um, looking forward to it. I, I'm glad that I didn't let uh, the monsoon rain stop me from making this trip. It was pretty hairy up on the, the, the hill coming into Fang, but um, uh, had a really good rest. And uh, a nice uh, buffet dinner last night, um, and uh, yeah, I'm just yeah, just get, good to get out of town, even though it's my new town there in Shanghai. So, all right, let's go inside and check it out. I thought this particular uh, sculpture is pretty intriguing because of the longing for enlightenment that's expressed there with the humans trying to approach the Buddha's awakening. Okay, so we've got two different cave entrances and there's signs that I translated from Thai. This one says, if dark. Okay, so if you want to go in the dark cave. So I'll save that for last. And this one says, if informed. So I presume that means that's the entrance to the light cave. I understand that for a fee they'll turn the lights on for you. So we'll see. There's a few steps, just a few. <laughs> Good thing I had my Wheaties today. Here we go. Beware, the entrance to the cave is guarded by a sweet puppy. Hey, just because the monks feed you doesn't mean I will. Dare we enter the light cave here in Thailand? Dare we? The puppy say, yeah, it's okay. There's snacks inside. Cleaning lady's just having a conversation with her mom. See if I can get a little bit more light. Boy, yeah, it just sucks the light right out of these guys. Okay, I left my other flashlight in the motorbike case, and so I'm going to have to grab it. I'm glad I brought this one. It's just a little phone charger. The Buddha in repose. That could be hundreds, millennia old. I don't know. I really gotta watch my head here because Baldy doesn't have his helmet on. Cool. Now you might have seen the um, seen the movie or read about in the news. Uh, it was a couple years ago now. The um, the Thai cave that flooded with the. Uh, the soccer, the kids' soccer team that was trapped, and they um, they 
they survived all of them by some great heroism. Uh, and this is not that game. I just wanted to point that out. Oh, oh, look. See, I understand. Some hermits live in here. Or lived. I don't know. Some uh, ascetic uh, uh, Buddhist monks, I imagine. Well, this is the extent of this from what I can tell. But the dark cave is something I'm going to go definitely check out. Up for an offering. A little amulet there? Yeah, it looks like an amulet case. Some broken pottery. Oh, look at this old statue carved into the formation of the cave. See how the head goes up into that? That is so cool. So now we're going to go into where this little sign above says, If Dark Cave. So, about the same length of stairs to go up. So, join me, won't you, on this exciting travel adventure. Okay, we're at the mouth of the dark cave. Um, and the little box you're asking for what looks like a 10 bot donation, which is the equivalent of about 33 cents. Um, so let's give them 20. Virtue signaling, yay, yay me. <laughs> Are you scared? Do you wish to enter the, the dark cave? That can be still inside. Check it out. Highly indispensable thing when traveling Southeast Asia. A fan. Oh my god. Flashlight and fan and USB charger? <laughs> you gotta be joking me. Oh my gosh, how cool. Okay, you getting this? It feels like the first alien movie with Sigourney Weaver, and they're discovering the pods down below, and he taps his helmet camera and says, are you getting this? And goes the captain. Oh man, okay, a little slippery. Do I go right or left? I'm feeling right, I'm feeling right, very strong. Hey, there's the happy laughing Buddha with man boobs. Buddha boobs. Right on, man. You know the testosterone start, starts uh, dissipating as you get into your old age. And uh, yeah, it's all right, man. It says it's all right to grow old, okay. What do we got in here? I don't know why, but there's a temptation to whisper when you are. alone here the kids uh, and their parents turned around I mean obviously it was gonna be too scary oh wait oh nice okay hold on oh, I found a better way to hold both the flashlights I'm getting something here oh, very nice a little bit of back while yeah it's gonna happen around here oh, cool 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 oh man can you imagine discovering this as a kid <laughs> Here's the Buddha holding his belly because he's just laughing his belly off. And I was mentioning earlier, there's a tendency to want to whisper in a cave, but it's, uh, it's just so quiet in here. You don't have to speak loudly. You can hear yourself and hear the bats flapping every once in a while. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Ooh, it goes on and on. Okay, I'm just now Losing that, that, I'm pointing at the light. You can see that little sliver. Let the phone adjust. No, I can't even pick up that tiny bit of light. So without flashlights, I'd have a real hard time finding my way out of here. The flash in the camera says the camera's too hot. Probably because it's running video. Oh God, that startled me. For a minute, I thought that was one of the aesthetics living in the cave, the, the hermits. Sounded like Jeff Goldblum just now. Yes, yes, the hermits uh, living in ah the cave. Uh, hello, uh, Jeff Goldblum here. Uh, those can, ooh, can mm, uh, can anybody mm, uh, hear 
what I'm doing. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. Gonna walk here. <laughs> I think I talk like Jeff, ooh, Jeff Goldblum when I'm nervous. Yes, nervous, huh? I wish, uh, wish it were that easy, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, follow me, here I go. Hmm, get into the depths of the cave. So I don't know if these are skeeters in here, but there's not any standing water that I can see. But man, we're going deep now. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at, look, look, look at. Look at that. Okay, because these bugs are attracted to the light, they're probably not mosquitoes. They're probably just gnats or something. Oh, I hear a little bit of trickling water. Gosh, it goes on and on. I've never been, I've never had an experience like this before. I've never been in a cave this, this deep or cool. Come to Thailand, have adventures. Oh, okay, I hear a lot of bats now. And a broom, maybe there's a witch. <laughs> oh, dude, look at him. Okay, I'm not stepping under there. I think this is as deep as I go on this trip. I mean, I could go up there, but it looks a little slanted and everything. There's going to be a lot of guano up there. Oh, they're up above me. Okay, I just chickened out. <laughs> uh, there's, uh, there's, there's too many bats. And I'm sorry, I have to, I can't keep walking. There's too many bats. The gnats are being attracted to the light that I'm, the flashlight, and, uh, I'd have to come more prepared next time. Uh, so <laughs> that's it for the dark cave here in Thailand. <laughs> I should be wearing a freaking caver helmet. What do they call those guys, spelunkers? <laughs> All right. So this is a little encouraging <laughs> to see this again. I think some of the gnats have followed me, but it's encouraging to see the mouth of the cave. What was it? Was it the bats? It was probably the insects and the guano. I was just starting to feel overwhelmed. Okay, the insects have dissipated. The little gnats that were flying around attracted to my flashlight. So at one point I was thinking I would have been happy to have a stronger flashlight, but then, man, I would have gotten bombarded when I was standing underneath the, the, the gnats. So, uh, you know, here's a, here's a dragon we'll hang out with for a minute so I can get a little light on him uh but yeah inside the the dark cave and just really digging it um it was a cool thing to do alone it was like discovering it all by myself like when you were a kid and you would discover a secret hideout hey man batman could live in here well there's certainly the bats so anyways um i've already had enough coffee to get me ready for this but i think that um and there's the mouth of the cave so i'll be heading up uh, I think I might stop and have a hot chocolate or something um, and just chill and absorb the memory because that was really cool. So I'm asking myself, if I were to do this again, would I have done the light cave first and the dark cave second? Uh, or would I have reversed that sequence? And I think, I think I did it right. I think, um, that would have just been a very, going from the dark, I, the, the light one prepared me for the dark one. Let's put it that way. Okay, speaking of the light one. Wow, I've never been so appreciative of daylight. 